why narcissists pick the best of the best. It's no secret that narcissists pick the best of the best. They want someone who is handsome or beautiful. They want someone who is powerful and successful. Someone who has lots of money. And of course they decide these things because it improves their image. It makes them look good and it provides them with money and resources to do what they want to do. But there is another reason why they pick the best of the best. And that is because they want to break you down. They want to destroy someone who they believe is less deserving. They are very evil people. They are looking to cause something bad, harmful and dangerous to happen. And this is especially true for malignant narcissists and psychopaths. They find pleasure in lying, manipulating and using other people to get the things that they want. They target innocent people, people who never did anything to them. You may have upgraded their lives. Before they met you, they were broke. They didn't have the time or money to worry about superficial things, to where they were then living luxuriously with class and money. You pulled them out of a ditch. You were a good friend to them. You spent a lot of time with them. You served as their partner. You gave the best that you had. You gave them your all. You didn't do anything wrong. But they targeted you to destroy you. Because there was something about you that they didn't like. They targeted you to hurt you. To break you down. Just because they didn't like something about you. They always had to create some emotional and unexpected event or circumstance but they made it seem like they're this charitable or helpful person as though they help other people, especially strangers who have trouble. But they have to create drama and chaos, they have to create a difference or disagreement between people, they get into your life by acting as though they're on your side as though they're trying to help and assist you when really they're just trying to get close enough to you so that they can tear everything to pieces but you're not expecting that to happen you don't even see it coming because it's covert, it's under the radar they know how to relieve you of hostility and suspicion by winning your affection and approval they gain access to you by playing the role of a close friend Someone who shares a secret or private matter. Someone who you can trust and share your feelings and secrets with. Someone who wants to unite a resource and commodity with you for mutual benefit because they make you feel like you're in a minority group or as though you're discriminated against. So it's you and them against the world. It's you and them in contrast and opposition to everyone when in reality they can't stand you. They don't like you. They only come around you because they have a mission to destroy you. But to do that they have to get access to you. They have to get close. They have to establish a friendly harmonious relationship with you which is characterized by agreement so that you will trust them so that you won't even see it come in. You have to look at a lot of the things they did to you, how they lied, 
how they treated your feelings and your property, things that meant something to you. They didn't care about that. That was at your expense because they're not in it for the long run. It's just for recreational use. And it's fun for them to tear you down. It's fun for them to break you apart and turn people against you. It brings them pleasure to know that they are the cause of your destruction, to know that they have destroyed your life. They dwell on their success at creating your misfortune with smugness and malignant pleasure. They feel great pleasure and satisfaction because of your failure or bad luck. It makes them feel powerful and important to break you down, to destroy your life, to make people turn against you. It brings them great pleasure and enjoyment. They love it. Narcissists pick the best of the best for a reason. They picked you because you have a lot of good things going on in your life. You're strong and independent. You have the quality and power of producing an abundance. You perform exceptionally well. And they are always watching people like that. They are always looking to lessen the effectiveness, power and ability of that type of person. They see it as a challenge. They see it as though if you're so strong and powerful then they shouldn't be able to prevent you from continuing. So they begin their journey to see if they can be the one who breaks you. But they also do it to change you. To turn you from good to bad in morals, manners and actions. To destroy your integrity. To cause you to be dishonest and disloyal. To cause you to become just like them. Whatever morals or values you have, they will try to corrupt it. They will lead you away from what is considered natural and acceptable. They will lead you away from whatever you believe in, from whatever you stand for, because it gives them a thrill. It boosts their ego. It makes them feel powerful and important. They will proceed in a gradual, subtle way, but with very harmful effects. Where they gradually introduce you to things that are unpleasant and dangerous, activities that are distasteful and disapproved of. Many of them have drug, alcohol, gambling or shopping addictions. They may be involved in fraud, bribery or prostitution, and they will try to get you caught up in that. They will try to get you to be a willing participant. They will try to get you to accept it, to see it as normal, because they want to corrupt you. They want to change you. They want you to become morally depraved. Which is why they will try to introduce you to drugs, alcohol or gambling. They will try to get you involved in things that you wouldn't normally be involved in. They will try to get you to do things that you wouldn't normally do. Because once they can get you to overlook or accept one thing, it's a lot easier for them to get you to do other things. And then it's all downhill after that. And then they can look at you and laugh, knowing that they caused that. They are the reason why you're acting differently. They took you from one thing to another thing. But when it's all said and done, they want nothing to do with you. They get rid of you because by that point you're useless to them. 
And for many of you, this is the most difficult part to understand. Because you did so much for them. You changed so much about yourself. You accepted things that you would never normally accept. Just to fit in with their wishes and needs. Just to make them more comfortable. And it was all for nothing. They left secretly and unexpectedly and without being seen. Or you just couldn't take it anymore. You had to let them go. But you accepted standards that were lower than what you desired. You changed so much about yourself to please them. To make them happy. To be with someone who only picked you to destroy you. Because when you're cooperating with them, that's all they're going to do. But they manage to give a little bit of themselves, at least in the beginning, to leave a feeling and effect that existed for enough time for you to want to keep putting out for them. Because you're trying to get what you thought with this wonderful person back into the control and behaving as they should. Based on what they showed you in the beginning. But that character they displayed to you never existed. It wasn't real. That's not who they really are. It's just something they used to seduce you and break you down to the state that you were in. They used that character to gain access to your life by acting as though they cared about you. When really, they were trying to tear everything apart. It's sick and twisted, but this is what they do. This is what they like. This is what drives them. It's what makes them happy. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.